Hello everybody. I'm doing a follow-up video to my how to create a Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind server. And today I'm just going to be doing a quick follow-up on a lot of common questions that I've been asking. I did make a mistake on the video actually, where we went ahead to this server default and we put in the local address of the machines. When actually you should be doing a 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. And that makes it available to yourself as well. Because if you notice, if you put your local address here, then other people will be able to connect to it from outside of your network. But something is a bit off. Maybe it's a, a network address translation setting or something like that. But if you put your local address to this, then you actually can't join your own server because you get an error. I know my server isn't running right now, but more than likely you're getting a UDP error saying the system is blocking UDP packets. But the only reason that's coming up is because for some reason it can't see this. So anyways, all you gotta do is set it to 0000 in the TS3 server default. And then under client default, all you gotta do is put in local host. And don't forget the password of your server. So you gotta put your password in there. And then you can go ahead and launch Morrowind from not the browser, but just the EXE. And then from there, you can go ahead and connect to your own server and play with the other people. And if it's a LAN computer, then you can just point this to the local IP address. But another, just a few more things. This is just talking about basic server maintenance, you know, nothing crazy. We're not going to be going to the mods. I don't, I don't fully understand the TS3 MP entirely, but I'll show you a few things that you can do just, just to do some general maintenance. So if you go under server and setup, so the first thing is going to be about setup. So under server, we go under scripts and we're going to go to config. So you might have noticed that everybody has a shared journal. So in order to turn that off, all you got to do is go into this file, hold down control F find journal and then here there's a little setting whether or not journal entries should be shared across all players you can put it to false false for shared faction ranks for shared faction expulsion so that means you know if somebody else gets banned from the fighters guild why should you get banned too so there's a lot of settings that you can go through here and i recommend that you go through a lot of them yourself and just see see what kind of things that you could turn on and what you can turn off just to give your own server a bit more configuration of how you want it to be how you want it to play on it and how you know be be the daedric prince of your own realm so to speak and now the other thing is how do you reset the cells like how do you reset the world so let's say a friend comes on and he goes through all the quests and he gets all the quest items and now everything is gone. So now that when you get on, you can't do anything because everything is dead or the crates are awful. So all you got to do is go under cell. No, not there. So go back to server, data, cell. And you can go ahead and delete everything in this folder. And then when you go and launch the server back up, it will just reset everything and beware do not delete world because that will reset the game pretty much so like everybody will have a fresh new journal and stuff like that so don't delete the world just delete the cell and you don't have to delete everything so i like to leave houses up so this is azaria's house and then here's cheese num's house so you know i like to keep some of them not deleted but for the most part you could delete everything and that's it for this video and maybe i'll do another video going forward if i have any other more frequent questions coming through my channel and again if you have any other questions please let me know and i'll do my very best to help you out so thank you for watching see you in the next video